Who's my good boy? Who's my good boy? Do you want a belly rub? Do you want a belly rub? Ooh, does that feel good? <laughs> you want a treat? Who wants a treat? Oh, did you get a new pet? I did, I did, it's right here. You want Let me see him, let me no, see him. No, 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 wait, shh. He's really shy around new people. Can you just, you know, stay, stay still? Oh, like this? Perfect, ah, okay, here we go. John, ah, ah. I would like you to meet Dwayne. That's a rock. I know, I know, but it's a pet rock. His name is Dwayne. A rock cannot be a pet. Yeah, Dwayne is so a pet. No, he's he not. He is a pet. It's no, true. Yeah, no, no what does he, he do is. Then? He's a pet. What, he, what does he? What does he do? He um uh, he um. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Fetch. Go get it. I'll get it. Ah. Come on. Come on, Dwayne. Ah. 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 Stay. Stay. Here you go, boy. Okay, roll over. Roll up. Here we go. Wee. Wee. Come on, boy. Sit up. Sit up. Come on, boy. Up. Sit up. Sit. Up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, you know what? Dwayne's not a pet. Good. Let's go get your real pet. Great.
Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and we're kicking off a discussion all about responsibility. Yeah, one of us had a brilliant idea it was me. to get a studio pet because one of the best ways you can show you're responsible is by taking care of another creature. Yes, my mother has let me know many o times that I can't even take care of myself. So this is my chance to prove I am responsible. The pet can be as simple as a snail or as demanding as a dolphin. I like it. The question is how do we find out which pet is right for our studio? And the answer, pet, pet auditions. auditions. All right, let's see who we have first. Okay, okay. Um, first up, we have Holly. She's three years old. She's 27 <laughs> inches tall and 5.7 pounds. And she's a chicken. <laughs> Her special skills are laying eggs, mm -hmm, doing the chicken dance, and, and doing the two wing cha cha. Hmm. You, know, you know, chickens are in right now, especially with the price of eggs. Yes. Okay, well, it says here that Holly is used to a 15 by 15 square foot living space and needs at least four or three other hens to keep her company. 15 by 15 feet? That's bigger than my bedroom. Yeah, and I don't know if I want to get four pets, so maybe we should, you know, pass on Holly. Okay, you tell her. Well, I'm not going to tell her, you tell her. Fine. Uh, thank you, Holly. We'll let you know. Thank you. Smooth. Who's next? All right, uh, let's see. We have two-year-old Larry. Oh. He's five foot seven inches, and he weighs 320 pounds. Woo! Um, he's friendly, mild-mannered, and clean. Maybe you can learn a thing or two from him. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, let's see, but he does have a tendency for spitting, kicking, and neck wrestling. Neck wrestling. That's what it says, right? Here. Neck wrestling. Uh -huh. Very loudly. It's not good for sound. No, it's not. Uh, you tell him. Oh, okay. Thanks, Larry. Thanks. You, you're, you're, you're a great llama. But hey, hey we'll let you know. Okay. Get another one. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we have Sebastian. He's over three feet tall and weighs 423 pounds, and he's a tiger. No way. <laughs> now this. It's yeah. the perfect pet. Yeah, it says he's housebroken and he loves belly rubs, huh? Oh, huh? He's a cute little tiger. Oh, yes, he yeah. is. Yes. Oh! Oh, we'll let you know. It's Bible story time. Getting a pet, huh? Maybe. Yes. Yes. Maybe. Uh, just not a scary tiger. <laughs> well, getting a pet is a big responsibility. But as followers of Jesus, we have an even bigger responsibility. Want to know what it is? Do llamas make loud chewing noises? I'm going to say yes. Then take it away. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Matthew. Matthew wrote about a time when a religious leader was trying to test Jesus by asking him a question. And Jesus' answer to that question tells us a lot about what God expects us to do. Da, 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 da. Oh. Time for Bible sizing with Horvath! Oh, that must be... Whoa! Horvath! Hello, Horvath. Ah. Uh, Want to help me tell the story today? Yes, I do! Thank you so much for having me on your shows! I am Horvath, and I am an expert in combining the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making a Moscow's bigger! <laughs> the way this works is I'll tell the story, and Horvath will give us some exercises to help us remember it. Yay! Okay, you say the Bible stories, I do exercise. All right, let's do this! Wonderful. Okay, so the religious leader came up to test Jesus, maybe even trick him. When he asked Jesus this question, which is the most important commandment in the law? Stop! First exercise! Okay, I call this curling the law. <laughs> and we need some special equipments for this exercise. We will be using the Understandings Corporate Law textbooks. Oh. Haha! <laughs> you first raise this giant book straight out in front of you before curling it back. Oh, working on those biceps. Then you straighten it back out. Why are you not exercising? Oh, I, I, I was watching. No watching exercise. Oh, sorry. All right, here we go. We do 29 of them. Go. Strudels. Door frame. Nakatomi Plaza. 29. All right, carry on with the stories. Okay. So, when the religious leader asked what the greatest commandment was, he was trying to trap Jesus. If Jesus gave the wrong answer in front of all those people, 
he would look foolish. But Jesus actually had a great answer to the question. The greatest commandment, he said, was to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. Hold your habeas corpus! <laughs> you know the exercise, head, shoulders, knees, and toesies? I, I know the song. This is not like that at all. This is called heart, soul, and mind. I put my hands on my heart, all right, before raising my leg to touch the soles of my feet. Then I drop my leg and I touch my head like I'm mind melding. We do 50 11s of them. Ready? Wait, 50 11s? Go! Oh, heart, souls, minds. One, heart, souls, minds. 47, hearts, souls, minds. Judge Watner, heart, souls, minds. Mega room. Heart, souls, minds. 50 11s! Well, that was. Chicken break! Mm-hmm. Ooh, pump the protein. Well, you need those nutrients. Second break over. Okay. Um, moving on. So Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Mm. Loving God is the most important thing we can do. But Jesus wasn't finished with his answer. There was a little more to it. Jesus said, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Final exercise! It does a partner exercise. Oh, wow. All right, and I call it neighbor, salt and shaker. You stand back to backs, oh. and then you link arms. Yeah, like this, yeah, yeah. And then one at a time you will lean over, pulling your neighbor off their feet. Okay. We'll do the... Three of these. Oh, just three? Uh, three is the new 78. All right, here we go. One. Oh. <laughs> Two's. Oh. Eggplant. Oh. Juice Newton. <laughs> uh. Hernia. Oh. 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 I think I just gave my lumbar a lawsuit. Oh, oh okay. Uh. Well, I'll finish up real quick. Okay, I'll move over here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> love God and love others. That's our greatest responsibility. Jesus said everything was based on those two commandments. That seems a whole lot easier than taking care of a pet. Yeah, especially pet tigers. Mm -hmm. It certainly is easy to remember, but sometimes loving others can be tough. But when we are followers of Jesus, we have the responsibility to love God and to love one another. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, wow, are you okay? Yeah. I just can't move my back for three months, but I can still exercise my eyebrows. I call this the Caterpillar Crunch. Ready? One, two, cheese, floor. I'm sure he will be better the next time he's on. Now, nose flares. Back to mm. you. <laughs> mm. 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 Uh, you, you know, maybe we should rethink this whole pet thing and get something with a lot less expectations. Ooh, like... Dwayne! Yes, I thought we discussed this. Uh, rock is a very boring pet. Oh yeah, but Dwayne's the most electrifying rock in show business! Reveal the question! What are things you're expected to do? Well, growing up, I was always expected to tell the truth. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I was expected to make up my bed and brush my teeth. Oh man, that would have been a good one for me. Which one? You know, don't answer. Uh, what are some things you are expected to do? Yeah, it could be at school, could be at home, or could be at a rehearsal or a practice. Yep, and with that, we'll see you next week for another brand new show. See ya! Along with Dwayne! Hey everybody! What's your name? My name's Dwayne. Based on these two commandments. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do it so fast. I'm gonna rock you. I don't want to roll. <laughs> do you smell what the Twain is cooking? Not rock.
Queen of Ages. <laughs> 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 All right, cut.